Tunay nga po na napakasarap magpuri, no? Kasama natin ang Diyos. At uh, you know na ang bawat isa ay pinagpala. Dahil narito kayo ngayon. So, can we ask, uh, let's go to the Word of God sa Acts chapter 27. before we pray. Basahin po natin ng sabay-sabay. But now, I urge you to keep up your courage. Because not one of you will be lost, only the ship will be destroyed. Last night, an angel of the God, to whom I belong and whom serve, stood beside me and said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand trial before Caesar. And God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you. Let's pray. Let's bow our head. Let's feel the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. We close our eyes. Dearest Lord God of far in heaven, we thank you so much, God, na ang bawat mga anak ninyo ay narito. It's really a blessing, O God, na sila po ay nakarating, nagbigay ng kanilang effort upang uh, kayo po ay sambahin, upang makarinig ng iyong salita, God, yung mga narito, sa inyong tahanan, ganyan po yung mga nasa live, nasa, na, nasa kanilang mga bahay o saan man lugar ang inyong anak. Tunay nga po, Lord God, it's a blessing for us, for them, na to hear the word, to worship you this day. At uh, salamat po, Father, for the strength, for the courage, for the favor, for the healing, for the empowerment. And for the right people, right connection. Salamat po. Ma. At uh, I pray na ang bawat isa ay bigyan niyo po ng alert mind and receptive heart to receive your word and be a blessing for them. Lord, uh, salamat po sa kalakasan, kalusugan na inyong pinagkalaob sa bawat isa. Thank you, God. At uh, muli po, humihingi po ako sa inyo ng uh, yung knowledge at wisdom upang may pahayag po ng maliwanag ang inyong salita. Gamitin mo po ako bilang bibig, kamay at paa ninyo. Kayo po yung patuloy na mataas, madakila, maparangalan, maluhati sa aking buhay. Lord, samahan mo po kami. Let your spirit be upon this place, upon us. At ganyan din po sa bawat tahanan, sa inyong mga anak, ngayon po ay nasa live, Lord. We thank, salamat po sa katagumpayan na dulot ninyo muli sa araw na ito. Salamat po mo. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All God's people shout, Amen. So, God is saying, you're going to reach your destiny. I'm still on the throne, sabi ni Lord. I'm working behind the scenes. I'm fighting the battles, your battles. I'm arranging the break you need. I'm lining up the right people. When it's all said and done, what God promised will come to pass. You're still going to get well. Yeah, so may mga karamdaman. You're still going to meet the right person. You're still going to break that addiction. You're still going to accomplish your dream. So I would 
to talk to you today about you're a person of destiny. We all have dreams and goals. No? Meron tayo mga pangarap, meron tayong goal. Things we know that God has promised us. Ito yung mga bagay na alam natin, ipinangako ng Diyos sa atin. We start off, no? lagi tayong excited. No? So, like Paul, no? we are selling fine, along fine, making progress. No? Ito yung naganap kina Paul. Then a storm arises. No? And an unexpected challenge no? Dumarat, dumating sa kanila. Yung storm. Gayun din naman sa buhay natin, sickness, break up, no? we lose loved one, a contract we were counting on doesn't go through. No? It's easy to get discouraged. No? Kapag madali tayo madiscourage, kapag may mga karamdaman na merong break up, merong nawala sa atin, no? o yung ipirma ka na lang ng kontrata sa trabaho mo, hindi pa natuloy. No? So, madali tayo madiscourage. No? And think never, isipin mo, it will never happen. But God doesn't promise something and then change His mind. He doesn't put a dream in your heart and then take it back. What He starts, He finishes. You may not see a way, but God hasn't run out of option. Di nawawala ng option sila. So I'd like to go to point number one. We think natural, but God is supernatural. Yes, way, no? Yes, ways we never thought of God wouldn't allow that storm. If it is going to keep you from your destiny. No. Hindi allow ni Lord yung mga bagyo sa ating buhay. kung tayo ay malalayo sa ating destiny na itinalaga ng Diyos. If that bad breaks, the loss of a loved one, a per- the person that walked away, no, <clears throat> that's going to stop you from your purpose. God <clears throat> will help keep it from happening. Kung malalayo tayo sa destiny na itinaga ng Diyos sa atin, hindi niya lobe na mapangyari yung mga bagay o ano mga bagay sa ating buhay. We may not like it, but it's part of the process. Storms come to us all. The good news is God is in control of the winds. He is in control of what's trying to stop you. All he has to do is ship the winds and instead of holding you back, they will propel you forward. Here's the test. Will you trust Him when you didn't see any sign of improving? Will you stay in faith when every thought tells you it's never going to, ha- to happen or to work out? O mananatili ba tayo na pagtiwalaan ng Diyos samantalang wala tayong nakikitang Pagbabago. Mananatili ba tayo sa ating pananampalataya 
Samantala yung kaisipan mo ay lagi na nagsasabi sa iyo, it will never work out. He has ways with never thought of. And God wouldn't have allowed this to turn. It was going, if it was going, to keep you from your destiny. Now, yung mga bad break, mga nawala sa buhay natin, mga taong lumayo sa atin, now, if that was going to stop your purpose, purpose God wouldn't have kept it from heaven. We may not like it, but it's part of the process. The storms come us to us all. Lahat ng problema dumarating sa atin yan. Apo? The good news is God is in control of the wind. No? He is in control of what's trying to stop you. All he has to do is to ship the wind, no? and instead of holding you back, they will propel you forward. They were meant for your harm, but he knows how to turn them around and use them to your advantage. You may be facing a situation where you didn't see how it could work out. No. Situation, say yung health, sa finances, sa relationship. No. Every voice says there's no way. No. It's too late. The obstacles are too big. No. Yan yung nasa isipan natin. But God is saying, You're going to reach your destiny. I'm still on the throne. I'm working behind the scenes. I'm fighting your battles. I'm arranging the break you need. No? I'm lining up the right people. When it's all said and done, what God has promised will come to pass. Can I hear a big amen? You're still going to get well. You're still going to meet the right person. You're still going to break that addiction. May addict pa ba dito? May napuyat pa ba kagabi? No? <clears throat> You're still called to accomplish your dreams. God may not have sent the storm, but He is in control of the storm. Control Adonai. That's why, will you trust Him when you don't see any sign of things improving? Magtitiwala ka pa rin ba sa Kanya? Na walang na, wala kang nakikita ang pagbabago. Will you stay in faith when you, every thought tells you it's never going to work out, mananatili pa ba ang iyong pananampalataya? This is what the Apostle Paul did. He was a prisoner on a boat headed to Rome. No? Nakakay siya ka sa barko. No? He has been arrested in Jerusalem for co causing a disturbance. Nanggugulo daw siya. Yan ang sabi nila. Even though he was found not guilty, <coughs> he had appealed to Caesar while they were sailing on the several months journey. Imagine, there were 276 people on board. They encountered a huge storm. Napakalakas po ng bagyo. With hurricane force winds, the waves were so big, they were battering the boat back and forth. Yes, sabi ko po sa inyo, ito po ay sa Mediterranean Sea. 
Kapag winter po, grabe ang alon dito. Grabe yung turbulence, no? Dahil kung saan saan uh, parang umiikot talaga yung tubig, yung karagatan dito sa Mediterranean, no? Lalo na po sa Bukana niyan, sa Gibraltar, harapong umiikot yung tubig doon. Kaya mahirap masiraan doon. No? So, they're facing, no? Sabi nga, for 14 days, they didn't see the sun nor the stars. Ganyan po yun. Pag winter, wala kayong makikita ang araw, wala kayong makikita ang bituin. Dawa? The boat was too beaten up. Talagang, sabi ko sa inyo, pag umalon, hindi malaman ng barko kung saan siya gagalaw. Tagilid, no? Pag ganun, No? So, ganoon din kami na nasa barko. No. So, it was taking on water. Inaangat sila. The crew started throwing cargos and supplies overboard. They were despondent. Extremely discouraged. No. They had quit eating. Ayaw na nila. Talaga po, hindi makakain. No? Yung aming mga hillsman, yung mga nagtitimo ng barko, may timba po yun dito, nakasabit, no? Para kung susuka sila sa timba na, no? hindi na sila tatakbo. Kasi hindi nila pwedeng iwan yung steering. And kapag masama ang panahon, hindi po pwedeng automatic yung steering. It is to be manual. Masisira po yung automation, no? So, kaya ganun po, hindi na sila makakain, No? The scripture says all hope of them, no, that they be that they have being saved was gone. Na wala na yung pag-asa nila na sila ay masasalba, no? So, but in the middle of the storm, an angel appeared to Paul. He said in Acts 27, no, last night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom served stood beside me. On verse 24, and said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand trial before Caesar. And God has graciously given you the lives of all who sell with you. So, mayroong pangako ang Diyos. So, don't be afraid, Paul, for you will surely stand before Caesar. God in His goodness has granted safety to everyone selling you. No, ganun na sinabi ng angel. So Paul had this promise that he would make it to Rome. Ang sama ng panahon, talaga po, no? But all the circumstances said he would never get there. No, kasi nga, talagang pinapalo sila ng alon. Everywhere he looked, the winds, the waves... No, the crew said he wasn't going to make it. He could have thought, God, no, maaaring isipin ni Paul, God, I must serve you wrong. Maaaring nagkakamali ka kasi bagyo na ito ngayon. Hurricane. No? So, you said, I will stand before Caesar, but I am in sinking boat in the middle of the sea, of the ocean. No? Stuck in the hurricane, sometimes what God promised looks just the opposite of what we see. Minsan po, yung mga pangako ng Diyos ay opposite do sa mga nakikita natin, sa mga nangyayari sa buhay natin. Di po ba? So, God you said, I'm going to get well. All I see is sickness. No? You said, I will land and not peril. But, but I see death. I see lack. I see struggle. You said, my children will be mighty in the land. But I see addiction. Compromise. So, 
Yung naranasan natin, yung nakikita natin, kakaiba sa pangako ng Diyos. Apo? That's why, in point number two, you have to be moved by what you know. So here is the key. You can be moved by what you see. You have to be moved by what you know. Don't let the storm talk you out of what God promised. Huwag niyong pabayaan na yung mga bagyo, yung mga problema ay magsabi sa inyo. No? Nagmalayo, maglayo sa mga pangako ng Diyos. So in the middle of the storm, when it looks impossible, no sign of things improving, Paul went up to the crew and said, it's going to be all right. Wow, may bagyo, inaalon, hindi ka makatayo, nangangapit ka sa mga handrail. Umakyat si Paul. Sabi niya, it's going to be all right. No? <clears throat> Get something to eat. God promised that I will not only stand before Caesar, but that all of you, your lives will be spared. Lahat kayo ay maliligtas. Kaya po, pag pinuntaan natin yung verse 25, so keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that it will happen just as He told me. So you see, God can make all these promises. But if we don't take the next step and say like Paul, God, I believe what you promise, what you promise me will come to pass. Can you repeat what I'm going to say in a loud voice? God, Inaantok po ba tayo? Apo. God, I believe what you promised me will come to pass. Amen. Then, the promise won't do anything good kapag hindi tayo nagsalita ng ganyan. We have to make faith No, we have to share faith with them. When Paul told the crew that their lives were going to be spared, no doubt, babes was flushing him. No, nang sinasabi ito ni Paul sa crew ng barko, o sa kanyang mga kasama, sa mga inmate, kapwa preso, sigurado, tiyak ko, sa liit ng barko na yon, ay talaga pong uh, yung tubig no? nag splash no? Yung talaga po yung hangin na napakalakas. No? Sabi nga nung kasama kong German, oh, winds. Very plenty wind outside. No? May German na uh, English po yun eh. No? Plenty wind. Instead of strong wind, you know. <clears throat> so, sigurado ko, nang kinakausap ni Paul ang mga tao, hindi ako talaga yung tubig. Kasi po, itong barko na ito, maaaring kasing haba lang nitong charts. Ano po? Pero yung barko na sinasakyan ko po, 200 meter. No? And the length of this land is only 60 meters. No. 
So napakahaba po ng barko ko. But when we encounter huge storm, oh my Lord. No, hindi mo malaman. Hindi ka makakatulog for three days for a week. No? But I will continue eating and continue praising God. No? So, tiyak ko. Kaya tiyak ko na talagang nababasa sila no, ng kinakausap ni Paul ang mga tao. No. Wind strong, almost knocking him down, had to hold on to the boat. Kailangan talaga umawa ka. No? It had been this way for two weeks. Dalawang linggo po. No? He could have been depressed like the rest of them. Complaining, instead he was talking about what God promised. He was speaking life in the face of death. No? Buhay, kaligtasan na sinasabi niya. Samantalang sa pakiramdam, para bang nakaharap sila sa kamatayan. No? Napakaliit po ng barko na ito. At sigurado po, kahoy ito. No? Wala pang bakal noon. No? The fresh. Instead, he was talking about what God promised. He was speaking life in the face of death. He was taking victory, talking victory in the middle of defeat. No? What you're saying in the storm, ito nga, kaya ito, kung yung sinasabi mo tungkol sa bagyo o sa iyong problema will have a great impact. No? On whether you stay there or whether you come out. Kasi po, pagbagyo, kumisan talagang umatras pa kami. Hindi kami umaabante. So we just keep steady sa position para hindi lang kami malayo. Imagine this is wooden and this is a sailboat. No? Layag lang. Wooden boat, sailboat. No? What you're saying in the storm, no? Sabi nga, malaki po ang impact niyan. No? If you say you'll never get well, I can break this addiction. I had it since I was high school, no? Sabi mo, yung mga taong ito, nagmawa sa iyo ng kamalian, no? Uh, sinira. ang buhay mo. If you talk defeat, you're going to have defeat. Diba? If you think you'll never get out of this trouble, then you will never. In the middle of the storm, you needed to declare what God promised you. No? I'm healed. I am coming out. These two, shall, these two shall come to pass. I am not moved by the waves, the winds, the opposition. I know God being for me is more than the world being against me. I will get well. I will prosper and succeed. My children will, have, will serve the Lord. Get in agreement with God. The angel said, Paul, everyone sailing with you will be saved. But you see, here Paul was a prisoner on the boat. Precious yeah. He didn't have any influence there. Wala siya employees na. Di ba? The crew saw him as secondary, just another inmate, Yung pagkatingin ng krus sa kanya, no? just another inmate web to transport. No? They, they thought Paul was sailing with them. No? Nisip nila, nisip Paul ay nakasakay sa kanila. So, let's go to point number three. God 
God is going to get you to where you're supposed to be. But notice how God sees you. Tignan po natin. Bigyan po natin ang pansin. Paano tinitignan tayo ng Diyos? He said, Paul, everyone sailing with you, sailing with you will be saved. You may have some enemies, people that look you down. They think they have the upper hand. But don't worry, you're not sailing with them. They are sailing with you. Amen. Hindi ka nakikiayon sa kanila. Sila ang dapat, sila ang umaayon sa iyo. You may feel like you are on the boat of the opposition, like you are in disadvantage sa trabaho, sa school, but people don't determine your destiny. They cannot stop God's plan for your life. You may be on their boat, but remember, they're sailing, sailing with you. God is going to get you to where you're supposed to be. Ah, eh preso ito eh. Nakasakay lang ito sa barko eh. Bakit yung mga tao ang parang nakikisakay sa kanya? Without Paul on the boat, all the people will have perished. Kung wala si Paul, si Pablo doon sa boat o sa barko, yun yung barko noong araw, no? lahat ng mga taong ito, tiyak, wala na sila. The hurricane will have caused it to sink. There was no chance in the natural. Natural way. Pamamaraan ng tao, wala silang chance. All the circumstances said it was doom. Parang, or a judgment time. Just a bad break. But there was a man on that boat with a calling on his life. May isang tao na may calling ng Diyos. A man with a purpose, with the destiny This is showing us a storm cannot stop what God has purpose on us. You may be in a situation it doesn't look good. Maring nasa kalagayan kayo na hindi magandang tignan. It will stop a lot of people, but it can stop you. Yung wala kay Lord, maaaring mapigilan. Pero ikaw, pero ikaw, na anak ng Diyos, ay hindi mapipigilan. Why? You're a Paul. You're a Paul. You're a Paul. Tulad ka ni Pablo. Ikaw ay si Pablo. You have a purpose. You have an assignment. There's a calling on your life. May calling ka, kapatid. Something God has ordained you to accomplish. Inordinahan ka ng Diyos. You're not just filling up the space. Hindi ka dyan nakaupo dahil wala lang. No? No? Para bang panakip butas ka lang? You're not. 
You're a person of destiny. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, baka natutulog yan. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you're a person of destiny. Amen. So you're a person of destiny. There's a Caesar you have been called to stand before. There's a dream God put in your heart. It's not an option. God has purpose. There's a giant you have been called to defeat. May mga higante na tinawag ka upang talunin siya. Maybe it's a generational curse, something that held your family back. Ako, kumisan, may mga nakikita natin. That's why the storm is so bad. Kumisan po, may mga curse sa family natin. Yung mga naranasan natin, talagang matindi po. No? The enemy would love to convince you to dig, to get discouraged. No, may mga magsasabi sa iyo para ma-discourage ka, mag-give up ka, think you heard God wrong, minamali mo yung Diyos. No? No. That storm is a sign you are close to your destiny. Amen. Pag dumaranas po tayo ng matitinding bagyo, Ibig sabihin, malapit na tayo sa ating destinasyon. Amen. No? The enemy will not be sending the winds, the rain, the trouble, the sickness if he didn't know Caesar was right up ahead. Hindi ka padadala ng kalaban na mga karamdaman no? <clears throat> ng anumang bagay, mga problema, bagyo, ulan, trouble, kung hindi niya alam na mayroon kang patutuhanan na Caesar. What you've been called to do your dear greatest accomplishment, something more than you can imagine. Tinawag ka. Freedom that your family has never seen is right past that storm. Malapit na. Malampasan yung problema ng family mo after the storm. The reason it can defeat you because you are Pablo. You are Pablo. You are anointed. Amen. Here's the key. The destiny in you is greater than the storm around you. The purpose in you cannot be stopped by the wave, by people, by opposition. That's why stay in faith and keep declaring what God has said about Sabi ni Lord, sabi ni Pablo, I will stand before Caesar. That means, I will fulfill my destiny. I will set new standard for my family. Wow, kapatid. Ikaw ngayon yung magiging standard ng iyong family. Wow. No? Kung masipag ka dito sa charts, Masipag ka rin doon sa bahay mo. Hindi siya sabihin ng nanay mo, Pastor, dito na lang yan sa church. Bakit? Eh kasi doon sa bahay, hindi naman nagtatrabaho yan eh. Wow! No. <clears throat> Stay in faith no? and keep declaring what God said about you. No. Magiging standard ka I will break these cycles of defeat, depression, dysfunction, 
that have been passed down. I will pay my health. I will keep my family together. Kaya kapatid, kung broken family ka man, gagamitin ka ni Lord. No? Gagamitin ka ni Lord para ma-restore yung family mo. No? Gamitin ka ni Lord. So, if you're going to come out of the storm, you have to know you're a Pablo. There's a calling on your life. The enemies know it. Alam ng kalaban na maganda ang destiny mo. God knows it. That's why now, make sure that you know it. Dapat alam mo rin ito. Na meron kang purpose. Na ang destiny mo ay ayon sa Diyos. See what God has spoken over you. Tignan mo kung ano yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa'yo. Ano yung naririnig mong salita ni Lord ngayon? It's not just a nice thought. It's not just something that he hopes will come to pass. Hindi lang ganon. It's a command. Paul, you will stand before Caesar. Sabi ni Lord kay Paul. He didn't say, I think you will. Hindi sinabi ng Lord, I think you will. If the, world, if the weather holds up, No, if these people don't get to upset what God speaks, hindi ganon sinabi ng Lord. So the only thing that could keep it from happening is, no, yung, mga, yung bagay lang na makapipigil na mapangyari ang pangako ng Diyos sa iyo, no, is not the storm, not the opposition. Not people, not the sickness. The only thing is if we don't believe. Yan lang po ang makapipigil sa mga pangako ng Diyos sa atin. Kung hindi tayo naniniwala. So God works with their faith. Ano nga? Paul wouldn't have said, God I don't think I can stand before Caesar. Hindi sinabi ito ni Paul. Maring sabihin niya, maring isipin niya. I'm a prisoner. I'm in a hurricane. These people don't like me. Don't let doubt stop your purpose. Yung mga duda, doubt tayo. Huwag nating hayaan. Ito yung pumigil sa layunin ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Don't let the storm talk you out of your destiny. You don't have to figure out how it's going to happen. Hindi na natin kailangan i-figure out paano ba ito mangyayari. All you have to do is believe. Believe. Say the word, believe. Stronger. Believe. So, In the face of that storm, with the winds, the rain comes against you, dare to say like Paul, I'll believe God, just what you said will come to pass. Here's how God, go- Here's how good God is. No? He told Paul that everyone sailing with him will be saved. Tinabi niya kay Paul, na lahat ng kasama mo sa paglalayag ay maliligtas. Even Paul's enemy had the promise that their life will be spared. Kahit yung kalaban ni Paul, may pangako din. Di ba? If I was up to, uh, no, to no, kung ito ay sa ating buhay, no, maaaring sabihin natin, Lord, Lipulin mo na silang lahat. Di ba? Ako lang ang iligtas mo. 
They don't deserve it. Hindi sila deserve na maligtas. Let them have it. No? Sa atin lang. Sa kaisipan ng tao. But God is so merciful. Some of your enemies will be blessed because of you. When the favor on your life helps them to rise higher, no? Dahil sa mga favor sa buhay mo, no? Kasama na sila. They have a chance a change of heart. Magbabago ang puso nila. No? Kaya kung may nagagalit man sa iyo, no? Pakita mo ng kabutihan. No? para magbago yung puso niya. Di ba sabi niya? Ano sabi? Pakainin mo, painumin mo yung kaaway mo. Para sila ay mapahiya. Instead of being against you, they will be for you. Instead of trying to push you down, they lift you up. Amen. After two weeks of being battered around by the storm, the crew noticed a small island off in the distance. May nakitang isla ang mga crew. They tried to steer that way, but the winds were too strong. When the boat got close, it hit the bottom, the bottom and broke totally apart. So nasira ang barko, no nabahura sila ang tawag doon nabahura sumatsad no so <clears throat> broke totally apart now all the people were in the water wow ang lamig no alam po niyo doon sa barko meron kaming uh, immersion suit ano po yon it can stay to minus 35 degrees no nandoon ka sa loob Iti ginagamit nyo kung lumubog ang barko para sa crew. But they don't have anything. That time, wala pang immersion suit. No? So, nandun na sila sa tubig, they grabbed pieces of the boat and began to swim to shore. In a few hours, all 276 had made it safely to the island. No? Naligtas sila. So, <clears throat> ganoon po, no, ang nangyari sa kanila. Yung mga kahoy na lumutang, na durog, mula sa barko, yun ang ginamit nila. Ano yung tawag sa atin? timbula no no salbabida no so no one lost their lives walang namatay walang napahamak what but when the boat boat hit the bottom and broke apart i'm sure some of them panicked and they thought oh great we're done ito na now we don't even have the boat wala na tayong barko. There's no chance. No? But they made it to the shore without the boat. Oh, I remember, no? Naalala ko tuloy yung barko namin five years ago. A big uh, huge storm there sa may Vietnam. Dalawa lang yung nakita na nakalutang. All of them uh, na trap sa loob ng barko. And the ship cannot find. Hindi na nakita yung barko. Uh, 25 crew died. Chief Cook and Chief Mate was found. Chief Cook was alive. Chief Mate was died, dead. No? So, nakita na tayo, imagine the ship was still. Malaking barko. 200 feet, a uh, meter ang length. No? So, 
Kaya nga, noong sumayad na sila, there's no chance. But they made it to the shore without the boat. God is saying you're going to make it without what you thought you had. You had to have. You're going to make it without what you lost. Magagawa mo pa rin yan kung ano yung nawala sa'yo. Makakarating ka pa rin ng sure kahit nasira, nasira ang barko. You're going to make it without you didn't work out what, we, what didn't work out. Magagawa mo pa rin. Without going to seminary, no? magiging cell leader ka pa rin. Amen. No? Things didn't fall apart. No? We know God will take things away that we think we need. So we have to depend on Him. Kinukuha ni Lord yung mga inaasahan mo para magdepende ka sa Kanya and not people, not the contract, not the position. Can I tell you, you're going to make it without that person that walk away. Without the friend betrayed you. Without that spouse that left you. I know it's painful, but they were your savior. Masakit man, pero hindi sila ang tigapagligtas mo. You already have Savior. We know that. He got, he's got you in the palm of His Son. If they left you, then you didn't need them. Di ba? Kung iniwan ka nila, hindi mo sila kailangan. If you had to have them to fulfill your purpose, They will, have, they will stay. Mananatili sila. You have to accept that they were not a part of your destiny and move forward. Tanggapin natin, hindi sila bagay ng ating destiny. No? At we move forward. As long as you're looking back, focus on what you lost, on why didn't they stay, Why did my boat break apart? You will miss the new things. God has in store. You can still get to the shore. It just may not happen the way you think. No? Mararating mo yan, hindi nga lang mangyayari ayon sa iyong plano o ayon sa iyong kaisipan. God's ways are not our ways. We can get so sad on how we think it's going to happen. What we need is going to be there that we get discouraged. No? If it doesn't fit into your pl- in our plans, but it discourage tayo. We have to stay open. Ito po yung lesson din natin nung isang nakaraan linggo. We have to stay open. God knows what's best for us. You're going to make it without the contract that didn't go through. You work hard, but you weren't chosen. Masipag ka naman. Pero bakit hindi ka ako napili? No? You deserve the promotion, but you got skipped over. No? Deserve ka ma-promote, pero bakit nalampasan ka? Remember, that's not the end. That means God has something better. Amen.
He knows how to open new doors at a cost of opportunity, promotion, contract that you didn't see coming. We'll find you. No? Naalala ko nung ako yung junior engineer pa, no? Doon sa office. Tinanong ako ng aming manager. Kasi ikaw, uwi ko lang. Sabi niya, yan niya. Gusto mo nang sumakay ulit? Sabi ko, yes sir. Kauwi ko lang. Nag-report lang ako this day, then the next day, nag-report ako. But, sabi ko, I want promotion. No? After a week, sabi sa akin ng sekretary, o biyanya, alis ka na. Wow. A week? Sabi ko, how is my position? Sabi mo, gusto mo ng promotion. Wow. No? I was oiler and then I become a port engineer. Promoted. So, peace. But three weeks vacation. No? Masakit siya po so. Malalayo na ulit sa family. One year na wala, three weeks lang, alis na. It's difficult. But I speak promotion. So, tinanggap ko. Hindi ako ma-promote. I speak promotion. I accept promotion. No? So, kaya nga, merong impact kung, ayun, kung ano yung sinasabi natin. Ha? So, you may just sit around kapag no, and discourage. No? Sasabihin mo, I'd lost my luck. Why this thing happened to me? I can tell you why. There's a calling on your life. There's a new level in your future. This storm cannot stop you. Remember that. Let's go to point number four. God knows how to get you to the shore. God knows how to get you to the shore. No? Maybe in an unconventional way or out of ordinary way. No? Without the boat, you may have to swim to the shore. But the grace will be there to do it. No? Kung wala po yung grace ni Lord, imagine, winter time, sigurado, titigas ang pagbaksak mo sa tubig, matigas ka na in a matter of one to three minutes. Matigas na po kayo. Kaya meron kaming immersion suit. We stand minus 30 degrees. So, imagine. God grace will be there to do it. You're going to make it without the loved one you lost. Sure. You still miss them, but that didn't cancel your destiny. May nawala man sa buhay mo. No? No? It may feel like the end, but really, it's a new beginning. Bagong simula na naman. You are stronger. No? You are stronger than you think. You have more in you, more talent, more courage, more determination. God is not going to lead you in that storm. The boat may have broken apart, but you're still going to get into the shore. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Amen. A 
Alam po natin, oh. No? Kung itutuloy natin yung istorya na ito, nakaligtas na sila. Nang nangangahoy na sila. No? Para gawing painit. No? Kasi malabig nga, eh. Alam mo ang ginawa? Pagpulot ni, ni, ni Paul ng kahoy, di ba, tinuklaw siya ng ahas, Anong sabi ng mga kasama niya? Masamang tao talaga to. Nakaligtas sa bagyo. Hindi nakaligtas sa ahas. Hinintay nilang mamaga si Paul. Kasi eh, pag natuklaw ka ng ahas, parang ano eh. Pero hindi eh. Pinagpag lang ni Paul yung ahas. No? It's God's grace. Amen. So in the scripture, David made it without his family. No? Puntahan natin si David. Without his family believing in him. I'm sure he was discouraged when his father didn't call him in when the prophet Samuel was choosing one of the son as the next king. Hindi tinawag si David nandun siya nagpapastol. No? He was tempted to be offended when his older brother made fun of him no, for being the youngest and having to take care of the sheep. So, naging pastor siya. No? Kinakatuan siya ng kanyang kapatid, ng kanyang kuya. Na maring isipin niya, could have thought, God is not fair. Maring isipin niya, it's not fair. My own family doesn't believe in me. But David understood this principle. His, his attitude was, ito yung attitude niya, I can make it without their support. No? I can make it without their approval. I don't have to have their encouragement. Instead of depending on people to approve you, why don't you have to go to God? and get your approval from Him. No? Sa alip na magdepende tayo sa mga tao, o nag apply tayo ng trabaho, may mga backer, no? No. We have to depend to the approval of God. Seek Him. Instead of counting on others seeing encourage you, why don't you encourage yourself? I'm strong. I'm healed. I'm with the Lord. Start speaking faith. Stop. Start speaking favor, victory, blessing over your own life. But if God wouldn't have let the boat make it to the shore, will have been so much easier. Kung hindi hinayaan ng Diyos na masira yung barko, napakadali na sila ay makarating sa shore. No? So, walang trauma, walang stress. Diba? They could just pull up like a cruise ship, cruise liner, pull ahead. Got up and enjoy the island. No? Enjoy natin. Ang sarap pumunta po doon. Sa mga isla doon. Doon sa Malta. Yung mga biblical, yung mga nasa Bible na lugar. Narating ko po yun eh. Yung mga old city. No? Yung parang mga, parang intramuros. Yung mga malalaking bato. No? But sometimes the boat doesn't make it. Paul and the crew grab the broken pieces of the boat. The wood that was floating, they used that to help them swim to the shore. You know? We think we have to have the boat, but God is so amazing, He has a plan even for the broken pieces. The remnant things must, most people would, you no. Know, God will use them to take you to where He has prepared. No? 
yung mga durog na kahoy na binabaliwala na ng tao, makakatulong pala, no? makakarating pala tayo doon sa shore. Their brokenness became their breakthrough. Mga kapatid, quit being discouraged over what you lost. What you have left is what you need. God didn't let you lose so much that you can't make it to where He is taking you. Hindi naman nuubusin ni Lord yan. We didn't need the boat. What they thought was of no use. Discarded, discarded pieces of wood was actually what they needed. No? To make it to the shore. Yung pirapirasong kahoy, eh kasi po yung barko, hindi mo mahawakan yun eh. Kung hindi nadurog yun, no? Taas yung barko eh. Hindi na pwedeng hawakan yun. So kung hindi nadurog, doon lang nila, nung madurog, doon lang nila nag-grab. No? And imagine, 276 people. Mas mabilis, di ba, kung nagsusolo ka? Yung salbabida, dalawa kayo, mabagal, di ba? Isang, isang, isang salbabida lang. Pag dalawa kayo, mabagal. Pero kung isa ka lang, mabilis ka. No? So, so, Keep declare in favor over your life. Keep thanking God for His goodness. He didn't change His mind. The boat may fall in apart, but you're still going to stand before Caesar. Magpapatotoo ka pa rin sa mga tao. Ano man ang dumahan sa buhay mo, ano man ang pinagdaanan mo. What God promised is still going to come to pass. You don't know what God is up to. This storm that none of us life are a part of our destiny. Hindi natin alam, bagay pala yan ang ating destination. So are you sitting on, a, on the sidelines, discouraged over what you lost, what you didn't get, who didn't stay? Nadi-discourage pa ba tayo? God is saying, If you get your passion back, if you'll start believing again, you're still going to reach your destiny. Despite what you lost, despite who was against you, despite the mistake you made, God's calling is still on your life. His assignment is still in your future. New level are still waiting on you. Can I hear him? Oh, na tayo, no? Point number five, don't stay focused on what you have lost. What you have left is what you need. In the scriptures, ito po yung story. There's a story about a little boy named Mephibosheth. He was the grandson of King Saul and the son of Jonathan. David and Jonathan were best friends. Magkaibigan sila. Mephibosheth was born into royalty. Pinanganak siya sa karyan. Destined to one day take the throne. Di po ba? But life didn't turn out the way he thought. Hindi na pangyari yung iniisip niya. His father and grandfather were killed on the same day in a battle. Namatay si Saul, si Jonathan, 
at yung mga kapatid pa ni Jonathan. The same maid. No? So the maid that took care of him when word reached the nang marinig yung tungkol no na namatay yung si Saul si Jonathan kinarga niya ito strip it up no at ito yung nabitawan niya napilay ah uh, I don't know no hindi na siya nakalakad no totally crippled na siya permanent crippled he could no longer walk maraming tao nang dumaan no now instead of living in the palace like he thought he was living in one of the poorest no doon na siya nakatira ngayon so one of the poorest most run down cities of the that, of that day no doon na siya naninirahan no So, seems para bang bad break, bad luck. No? Hindi naman niya kasalanan. Siya ay naibaksak ng maid. No? Nung bata pa siya. But God is not dependent on what someone else does or doesn't do to get you to your destiny. People may drop you, but God knows. how to pick you back up. Years later, King David was reminiscing. Nalala. No? Dinidili ni King so, ni, ni David about how much he loved his good friend, Jonathan. No? Nagahari na si David. So, naalala niya yung kanyang kaibigan na si Jonathan. At tinanong niya yung kanang mga kasama, yung mga yung mga tiga palasyo. No? If any of Jonathan's relatives were still alive, may nabubuhay pa ba? They said, yes, his son is. But he is crippled, living in the slums. No? David said, go find him and bring him to me. No? You can imagine as these officials from the palace, no, start searching, no, the slum. Yung lugar ng mga barong-barong o ano. Uh, so word quickly spread and there are looking for Mephibosheth. When he hears si Tot, nang marinig naman ni Mephibosheth na hinahanap siya, sabi niya, "Oh man, I am done. Now they have finally found me. Nakita na nila ako. Tiyak patay ako. Ito yung na-expect niya. He expected the worst. But they picked him up and carried him to the palace. No? Kinuha lang siya at dinala sa palasyo. Nilinisan siya. Nilagyan siya. Sinutan siya ng bagong karamit, damit. brought him before David. He was afraid. Takot siya. Wow, ano kayong gagawin sa akin? Di ba? So, he was worried. He was afraid. He didn't know what was going to happen. And David said, Maybe Boseth, don't worry. From now on, you're going to live in the palace with me. Wow. No, dahil kalaban eh. Dahil gustong patayin ni Saul si David, di ba? Eh siya ay apo. Kaya sabi niya, nasa isip niya, I'm done. Wala na ako. Every night you can eat dinner at my table. No, not only that. Hindi lang yun. I'm giving you all the land that belongs to your father and to your grandfather. Wow. Like him, no, it may look like there's no way. No, what God promised, you could still come to pass. Too late. You have 
too many bad breaks. The odds are against you. If may Pubaset were here, kung narito siya ngayon, he will tell you, you're still going to reach your destiny. Amen. This fight will drop you, this fight how unfair it was, Despite how impossible it looks, you're going to make it. Without the boat, without what you thought you had to have, God has the right people already lined up to help you. People that will make up for what you didn't get. Don't stay focused on what you've lost. You have lost. What you have left is what you need. Wala na yun eh. No? Ang kailangan mo, yung nandyan. Yung naiwan sa'yo. There's power in the broken pieces may not look like much. No? But when God breathes on them, you will make it to the shore. No? Amen. Now, believe and declare you're still going to get well. You're still going to meet the right person. You're still going to accomplish your dreams. Favor is coming. Healing is coming. Promotion is on the way. Vindication, breakthroughs, the fullness of your destiny. In Jesus' name. Can I hear a big game, man? So I would like to give you an opportunity para sa mga first timer dito o yung nasa live no? to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. Can I ask to bow your head and say a prayer. Lord Jesus I repent of my sin. Come into my heart. I'll make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's bow our heads. Close our eyes. Feel the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. You're a person of destiny. Lord, we think natural, but you are our God, who is supernatural. You have ways we never thought. You have to be moved by what we know, who you are. In the middle of the storm, we declare your promise. We know you. Our Father, that you are being for us is more than the world against us. Father, thank you that you have to, to bring where you are supposed to be, where we are supposed to be. Father, thank you for your purpose on us. Thank you for the assignment. Thank you for the calling to serve you. Thank you, Father, that you have ordained us. Thank you, Father, that you have done on us to accomplish your purpose on us. Thank you, Father, that through unconventional way, you have brought us on the shore. By your grace, we are going to reach your, our destiny. Thank you. Father, for the strange, for the new beginning, for the new thing, for the encouragement, for the talent, for the termination. Thank you, Father, for the right people, right people, right connection. Thank you for the healing, for the past recovery. Thank you for the restoration. Thank you. But through the broken pieces of the boat, 
we reach the shore. Thank you, Father, for the victory, for the protection. Thank you. Thank you. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All God's people shout, Amen. Amen.